well done this morning, uh, Tobes, excellent job, uh, as always, um, and excellent contribution from everyone. I thought um, you know, we, we prepared very smartly this morning. I think we're, we're well aware of our, um, of our enemy tomorrow, um, which is important. Uh, but most of all, I think it's more important just to get our head and our heart around our jobs tomorrow as well. Um, let's stick to the basics today. Uh, let's have some fun at training. This is your day, remember, one day out. This is your day to tick the boxes and do what you feel you need uh, to be prepared for tomorrow. Okay. Um, something a, a little bit uh, different to the way we normally run things. We're going to let you know the 11 now uh, so that we can get our heads around that for, for training. Uh, the four to miss out tomorrow will be Michael and Safi, um, Freddie and the A-Train will miss out tomorrow. Okay, our, our thinking tomorrow uh, is that we're going to swing it and we're going to take pace away from these guys at the top of the order uh, and uh, therefore that's the, that's the crew that we're running with tomorrow, full faith in that, in that 11 to go and do the job. Clearly, clearly it means that uh, we're playing 11 tomorrow of course. Uh, and we're putting uh, a lot of faith in our fifth bowling options and, and I know that everyone will, will rally around those and you know, people use utilise that fifth and sixth bowling option at the right times. Okay, so that's everyone's job to make that, make that work. Right. There's a great feeling in this camp, great feeling. Um, just a couple of, uh, couple of observations for me. Uh, don't fear the nerves, okay? don't fear the nerves, embrace them. You know, stand upon them and we have trained and prepared so well there's so much skill in this team all right big games are different all right i'm not going to stand here and tell you that's just another game tomorrow it's not another game all right and you're going to feel a bit of nerves but that's okay all right the other thing that happens in big games something goes wrong something always goes wrong in a big game don't fear that expect it deal with it all right deal with it and the third and last thing that I'll say about big games that I notice, don't be afraid to win them. All right? don't, don't think that they're just going to fall on your plate. Go out there and make it happen. Use the skill that you're blessed with. There's untold skill in this team. Let's go and release it tomorrow. Can I just uh, say one thing? Um, just, just in terms of how you guys are sort of processing this event, if you like, um, in terms of pressure, you know, whatever that word means, the confidence that you guys can take into tomorrow's game and the rest of the games we play in this tournament, the way you've played in the last two games uh, particularly. You made a full member team look pretty ordinary at times the other day. And also just sort of referring back to the tournament that you won around about this time last year. In terms of the pressure and the consequence of not succeeding in that tournament last year, it's much bigger. It's much bigger than not succeeding in this tournament. So from that point of view, obviously there's more people watching us, of course there is. But in terms of the consequence of not succeeding in this tournament, some of you guys were playing for your careers last year. You guys were playing for the future, or the short, term, short to medium term future of high performance cricket in Scotland. Nothing like that on the line in this tournament. So from that point of view, you can go out and have the confidence of the way you reacted to that pressure <laughs> last year by just enjoying the challenge and embracing the challenge of what's up, up in front of the United Six games and hopefully more. You know? So I know it might not seem like that, but actually if you look at it in reality, the pressure far more on you in that tournament last year and look at the way you responded to that.